welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. My name's Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on the WW Blue Plan. Today's Monday so that means it's meal prep day and I have three absolutely fantastic recipes for you. I have breakfast, lunch, and a really, really good snack slash dessert recipe. All of my recipes are on my website, which is linked down in the description box below. You'll also find the links and discount codes to some of the products that I shared with you today, as well as the rest of my favorite things. You'll also find my nutrition coaching website. I'd love to help you configure your macros, one-on-one -on -one coaching, even group coaching, so definitely check that out. If you are new to my channel, I'd love it if you'd stick around and subscribe and hit the little bell next to it. I'd love to have you. Also give this one a thumbs up if you are here for meal prep. And lastly, make sure you head on over and check out my Facebook group. We'd love to have you join that amazing community as well. So without further ado, let's jump into this week's WW meal prep. breakfast this week I'm bringing in holiday all things holiday we are doing a cranberry and orange buttermilk breakfast bake so it's kind of a spin on a pancake bake with all the holiday flavors of cranberry and orange so let me show you what's in breakfast first you're going to need some reduced fat buttermilk Sugar alternative of your choice. You guys know I love monk fruit. I will link Lakanto's website down below with a discount code for you guys. They have great products in general, but they have all of the really good sugar alternatives. Everything from granulated, brown sugar, powdered sugar. So definitely check them out and you get a discount. So that's linked down below for you. This is just some organic flour, butter. I'm using the melt plant-based butter. You'll need vanilla extract and baking powder, salt fresh cranberries, and one navel orange. So let's make breakfast. So to get started on our bake, we are going to add in one half of a cup of butter. This is exactly half of a cup in here. It's actually just a little bit shy, but I'm not really too worried about that. So I did let this sit out and become room temperature. So we're gonna add that in. And then I did zest that orange. So we'll add in the zest of the orange. We don't need the juice, so just the zest. And then I'm just going to take a spoon and we're going to cream this together. We're really going to incorporate the orange zest with that butter. Once your butter and orange zest is nice and creamed together, we are going to add an egg. And I apologize, I didn't show you that in the beginning. You're also going to need one egg. So my apologies for that. And we're also going to add in our vanilla. So about a teaspoon of vanilla. And then we are going to cream this together. And again, you can use a spoon like I am here, or you can use a hand mixer, whatever your preference is. I'm just going to use a spoon and just really, really dig in and get this mixed really well. Once that is mixed together, we're going to add in our two cups of all-purpose flour. And then we also want a teaspoon of baking powder and then just a pinch of salt. So we're going to just add just the tiniest bit of salt. And now we're going to combine this together until fully mixed. We're now going to add in one cup of monk fruit sweetener. Give that just another quick mix you are going to have your batter be kind of lumpy and chunky you can see how my batter isn't nice and smooth it will become smooth once we pop in our buttermilk so the next step is to add in one half of a cup of low fat buttermilk now stir that until fully combined and then lastly are our cranberries so i ended up adding about another half of a cup of buttermilk it just wasn't quite the right consistency this is kind of what you're looking for more of a batter and then lastly we're going to add two cups of fresh cranberries and then we're just going to fold those in now this was almost that entire bag i would say that there was maybe half of a cup of the fresh cranberries left over. So our batter is done. Look at how amazing that looks. So I went ahead and grabbed out a pretty good sized pan, about an eight by eight or a nine by nine. We are going to spray that really well with nonstick cooking spray. We certainly don't want our delicious bake to stick to the pan. And then we are going to add in our batter and smooth it out so it's nice and even. And I did just turn my oven on to preheat to 350 degrees. So I have my mix in my pan. Doesn't this look 
amazing, you guys. Last step before it goes into oven is take your monk fruit or whatever sweetener you're using. You want about a tablespoon or so, and we're just going to sprinkle that over the top. And when it cooks, it'll get that nice crystally caramelized sugary top. Oh my goodness. This is going to be amazing. So I am going to pop this in the oven, 350 degrees for about 45 minutes or so, or until the pancakes are cooked all the way through. Look at this, you guys. This looks so good. You can't really see, but there is this crystallization on top from that monk fruit. Oh my goodness. I am pretty darn excited for this breakfast. So I'm going to let this cool, slice it into servings, and I'll be back to give you points and calories. So I went ahead and cut it into eight servings. So one of these squares is a serving. I'm planning on pairing this with some eggs because eggs are zero points on the blue plan. This bake cut into eight servings is seven smart points on all plans. It is delicious. I had to lick the knife after I cut it. It is so cranberry orange. It is incredible. So highly, highly recommend this recipe. It would be a great, great breakfast for the entire family. For lunch this week, I'm making a teriyaki turkey rice bowl packed with protein, packed with veggies, and then of course carbs in the rice. Very, very well balanced lunch. So let me show you what's in our recipe. First, we're going to make our homemade teriyaki sauce. So I'm gonna show you what's in that, and then I'll show you what's in the ground turkey portion. So first, you're going to need some red wine vinegar, soy sauce or coconut aminos, minced garlic, ground ginger. You could use fresh ginger, whatever your preference is. Some sort of brown sugar alternative. You guys know I'm obsessed with sucre and gold. I actually buy this off of the Nutrition website, same place I buy my pasta. So I'll link that down below for you. About a quarter cup of water, and then we're probably going to need a couple more tablespoons to make it the right consistency. And then you'll need a thickener. So cornstarch or arrowroot powder, whatever your preference is. So that is what is in the homemade teriyaki sauce. And then for the ground turkey, you're going to need obviously a pound of ground turkey. This is 99%. We'll need some rice. I'm just using this organic white rice. Green onions, a couple of carrots, a small onion or half of a large onion, a big bag of chopped broccoli and some oil. So let's make lunch. So let's put together the teriyaki sauce ingredients. It does need to go in to a pan so that it can go onto the stove to warm. So to that, we are going to add in two tablespoons of sucrin or whatever brown sugar alternative that you're using, one quarter cup of water, one half of a cup of soy sauce, or in my case, coconut aminos. We have a couple of teaspoons of minced garlic, maybe a little more than a couple of teaspoons. And then we do need to add in one tablespoon of cornstarch or whatever you're using as your thickener. So I have again, the arrowroot powder. So I'm gonna go ahead and add that. And then we also need to add one tablespoon of red wine, oh, I'm sorry, two tablespoons. Oh my gosh. Okay then, so we probably have a little more than two tablespoons of red wine vinegar. Oh my gosh, how, you know, I could edit this out, but I'm not going to because this is real life. So I'm not too worried about it, to be honest with you. I don't know how much that was, but you want about two tablespoons. I cannot believe that. Okay, moving on. So we are gonna go ahead and add in about a teaspoon of ground ginger, and then we're gonna pop this on the stove until it warms through and the sugar is dissolved. So all of my ingredients are here in my saucepan. I'm just going to warm them until it thickens up. So I did go ahead and add my arrowroot powder directly. You can also mix that with a couple tablespoons of water and make a slurry. So kind of whatever your preference is, but I am just going to stir and heat until my sauce has thickened. Right, and look at this. Oh my gosh, it's nice and thick. Oh, it looks so good. So I'm just gonna set this aside while we put together the rest of the bowl. Now I'm gonna chop for the bowl. So I have some green onions here. This will actually top the bowl. I have three small ones here. We're just gonna pop each vegetable in a bowl. Couple carrots here I'm going to peel and chop, and my onion, a bowl for each of them. I don't know who you are. I don't know what you've been through. Why you got scars since you walked through the door i've been trying to reach you because i feel you what's the story to tell what's the story behind on my 
stove, I have a really good size skillet and we are going to add a tablespoon of oil. Let that kind of warm up for just a couple of seconds and then we're gonna pop in our onions. All right, we're gonna go ahead and add in our onions and we're just going to let those cook until softened. Once your onions are soft, we're going to add in one pound of ground turkey and we are going to let this cook until about 75% of the way cooked through and then we're going to add in broccoli and carrots. Once your turkey is cooked all the way through, your carrots and your broccoli have started to soften, maybe 50% softened, we are going to go ahead and add in the teriyaki sauce that we made earlier. And we are going to let this simmer for about five minutes or so. We wanna make sure all the flavors get combined. And my rice is cooking and it should be done. And then we're ready to assemble the bowls. All right, everything is ready. We have the teriyaki turkey with veggies that smells incredible. And then here is my cooked rice. So I did half of a cup of cooked rice per bowl. There may be some additional rice left over, but I am points wise planning for a half of a cup per bowl. So we're gonna start by adding rice to all five meal prep bowls. This makes five servings. And then we'll top it with this delicious turkey teriyaki mixture. So I'm gonna do one half of a cup of rice. So I have a half of a cup here. I'm just gonna pop in my rice, add that to the bowl, and then we're just going to repeat. Now I think that's plenty of rice because we're also going to have the turkey mixture. So let's fill the other four bowls. So we have all five bowls of rice, half of a cup each. Now we're just going to divide our mixture evenly over the top. I'm just gonna start with a spoonful per bowl and I'll just keep going until we've used all of the meat and veggie mixture. These look so good, look at that. What a huge hearty lunch. I'm, I'm really excited for this. So I have my chopped up green onions. I'm just going to add them to the top. Now if you don't like your green onions warmed up, because they will be warmed as we heat this up each day. You can go ahead and add them right before eating. But yeah, you guys, look at this delicious lunch. So let's go over points and calories. So the recipe made a total of five bowls or five servings. It is six smart points per bowl on blue and purple and seven on the green plan just because there is just the tiniest amount of points for the 99% ground turkey. Now if you're on the purple plan and you opt for a zero point rice so you use a brown rice then it would only be one point. This whole bowl is one point on the purple plan and the calories will be here on the screen. So this is going to be fantastic. It's a well-rounded, like I said, lunch with a carb, protein, and veggies. Another fun holiday vibe recipe. We're gonna do some pumpkin energy bites. These are going to be nice, clean, whole food, great for on the go. I find myself being so busy these days that I'd like to have a really good, healthy, hearty little snack that's low point and low calorie to take with me. So let me show you what's in our recipe. First, you'll need some pumpkin seeds, rolled oats, peanut butter, almond butter, kind of whatever nut butter you wanna use, canned pumpkin, a big pinch of salt, ground cinnamon, vanilla extract. You could use maple syrup or honey, whatever your preference, and a chocolate chip. So I decided to use the Lily's white chocolate because pumpkin and white chocolate, yes, please. You can really use any one of the Lily's chocolate chips, regular butterscotch, whatever your preference, but I'm gonna do the white chocolate chips. The pumpkin spice ones, by the way, would be delicious, but I can't find those in my area. So white chocolate it is. So to start on our pumpkin energy bites, we can do this one of two ways. Now the original recipe says to add all of the ingredients to a food processor and pulse it. I am not going to do that. I'm actually just going to add everything to a bowl because I want my bites to not be a really like small grained bite. I want them to kind of have the whole oat. So whatever your preference is, I will link the original recipe on my website. So you can make yours either way. But I weighed out one quarter cup of nut butter on my food scale. It's just easier than using a measuring cup. And then I have two cups of rolled oats. I have one half of a cup. All my half of cups were dirty. So I put it in a one cup, but I have one half of a cup of maple syrup. You can also use honey, kind of whatever you 
prefer. And then we are going to add one half of a cup of pumpkin puree. My mixture is ready to go. Look at how good that looks. It smells so good. And then I have just a quarter sheet pan here with some parchment. And what I'm going to do is roll these in to 25 balls. Now I want about 25. I don't know exactly how to get 25, but I'm gonna do my best. And then we'll kind of figure our points accordingly. But we're going to roll those out, set them here on the parchment paper. And these actually go into the freezer, I believe, to harden. And then that's where you can store them or in the refrigerator to eat them throughout the week. So let's roll out our pumpkin balls. <laughs> getting just under 30 bites 29 to be exact so my points are actually going to be a little bit lower so when I share the points and calories with you I'll let you know what the points are with 25 bites versus 29 and I'm gonna pop these in the freezer they say to freeze them and then either store them in the freezer or the refrigerator so I just want to get them nice and frozen so I can show you what the actual finished product looks like and then I'll give you the points and calories I just pulled the energy balls out of the freezer they are nice and frozen so you can again store them in the refrigerator or the freezer i think i'm going to keep mine in the fridge because i got 29 bites instead of 25 my points drop so they are only two smart points on both the blue and green plan and one point on the purple plan isn't that great now if you get 25 bites like the recipe calls for they are three points on blue and green and two on the purple plan but this is an absolute clean ingredient healthy protein pumpkin energy bite so i can't wait to have these all week long thank you for joining me on this week's meal prep i hope that you are as excited as i am about these three recipes they're amazing i can't wait and i'm feeling some fall vibes even getting into christmas i'm so excited for this week's recipes again they are all on my website my website is linked down in the description box along with my nutrition coaching website links and discount codes again to my favorite things and the items i shared with you today and the link to head over and join me on Facebook. So definitely check out that description box. If you love today's video, please give it a big thumbs up. And last but not least, make sure that you subscribe. We'd love to have you. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.